legal expert. I am not your lawyer, so don't take this as legal advice. So let me explain my personal position on patents and software patents in special. I think that software and patents absolutely do not go together. As in a software developer, it is extremely complicated and, in my opinion, impossible um, to find out if the software you've written is infringing on one of those thousands and thousands and thousands of patents out there. Let's, let's talk about patents in general. What are patents? Patents are historically a quite interesting way to deal with knowledge preservation. The real reason patents were created was quite simple. A lot of people were taking their very special knowledge into the graves when they died. So, you know, specific methods of being a carpenter or a painter or making stained glass, which is one of the very first examples for a patent, a Flemish uh, maker of stained glass who was commissioned to make the glass for Oxford. Governments and, and, and queens and kings were thinking about how do we, do we solve this? And they came up with the fundamental idea of the modern patent system. In very simple words, what a patent system, the modern patent system tries to do is to give you an incentive to make your specific, your secret knowledge available to the rest of the world. The way it is done is you publish your invention, your creation, your method, your whatever, in a patent, and by publishing it, by making it available, in return, after the patent is granted, you have the exclusive rights for a limited time, which currently, right now, depending on jurisdiction, etc., uh, is around about 20 years. The thing is, this system worked quite well quite well for a very long time, but it doesn't work for software. Why doesn't this classical approach to patenting work for software? One single reason is time. From the moment you file for a patent until the time it is granted, in most jurisdictions we talk about a time period between typically three to four years. In software that's two to three complete product cycles, so when you get the patent on your piece of software, then effectively the knowledge is already, you know, obvious. It's, it's, it's not really worth anymore. So the, the main reason you get a, a software patent nowadays is to be able to defend yourself against other people trying to sue you. But this defensive way of patenting sort of doesn't work the way the patent system was supposed to work. Now, if that core promise of the patent system doesn't work anymore, then we need to ask ourselves how can we protect knowledge and do we have to protect knowledge? As an open source guy, my best protection is making it publicly available as open source code. This is what I do. I think that every piece of open source code you put out there furthers your knowledge and your solutions to the rest of the world. Everybody can look at it under the terms of the license agreement. So. In my specific way of thinking, which is not that specific, which is, I think, quite typical for a lot of people in the software world, uh, in my way of thinking, making software publicly available is exactly what the patent system promised to do, make stuff available to everyone, without the limitations that come through the rights of exclusivity, but within the realm of uh, the copyright laws and the copyright regulations. I can protect my code, my source code, far better and, you know, that's the way it should be protected with copyright methods. And that's what the licenses that we open source developers use are based on, on the copyright system. So we have an arsenal of weapons to defend ourselves against copycats and people stealing our code. You cannot really steal code, but you can copy it. That's, you know, the main thing. So, do patents offer any advantages for a software developer? My clear uh, answer to that is a very simple and very loud no. Does the patent system work for the rest of the market? Does it work for cars or, or machines? Honestly, I don't know. I'm not an expert on that. Many people still believe that patents help the the lonesome, smart, uh, smart genius inventor in his basement to protect against the very big companies. Reality is effectively more or less the opposite. 
So that was a long talk about patterns and whatever. So let's relax a little bit and uh, then hope for tomorrow. They promised it's going to be a wonderful weekend here in Munich. <laughs>